Hello and welcome. So today I had a comment on my channel that says not official product from NetGate. This is just mini PC with many Ethernet ports. Why I went ahead and built my own PFSense router and did not go with the official one? Well, the reason was simply the um, I wanted to learn, uh, build it myself. Like if if you can build it, why buy? Uh, buying it just gives you a consumer uh, vibe you're just buying and installing it and there is no technical knowledge behind that you just uh, um, j like you end up being an average consumer while building gives you that trial and error where you figure things up uh, yourself and then you are better at it uh, when I was thinking um, uh, I wanted to install it on a Raspberry Pi, but Raspberry Pi are pretty hot right now. I heard that they are starting to hit up on uh, like used uh, People are retiring them and selling them on uh, Facebook marketplace still you cannot uh, find anything new, but the price uh, the, for the new uh, was just um, absurd uh, 176 for a kit um, that Then um, well, if you if you've seen my um, uh, I don't know if I remember, I don't remember if I made a pie hole video but when, uh, that's the one I really wanted to build a, on a Raspberry Pi and there were none available so what I end up was I signed up for AWS free account uh, and I'm hosting my pie hole on either AWS and I wanted to do the same uh, with this but uh, you can you know you get only one t2 micro free per account I didn't want to create just another account for the sake of it I was like hey why not uh, go look into mini PCs uh, that that's when the mini PC came into but uh, if anybody is interested ignore this this is too high uh, I'm gonna show you a calculator here so you can see uh, it says it says one cent somewhere on this page it's a yeah right there one cent per hour uh, but if you look at t2 nano or t2 micro micro basically get for free uh, but if you get t2 uh, nano you can see it's the total cost going to be uh, this 16 cent or let's say point uh, 016 cent now if you add it up and multiply it it's gonna be uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be close to a hundred buck uh, um, in a year and I didn't want to spend that hundred hundred dollar in a year uh, let's see actually point one nope point zero one six multiply by 24 hours multiply by the 56 nope not 56 365 and it's 140 bucks so i didn't want that uh to shell out that money and that remember it's t2 nano uh, it's uh, it's um, a smaller instance than t2 micro and micro is just uh, bare minimum it's I think it's 512 GB RAM and uh, one virtual CPU it's nothing the reason I did not buy the appliance was one for that matter that it just give you a consumer vibe the other one is look at it uh, PF sense has two editions one is PF sense plus like here the other one is community so if you were to build your own you will be building with the community one but look at this one so if you look at the processor and home home pro all that small business you, you, it's just marketing gimmicks but again all of this does not matter Look at that it's in cortex a53 arm 64 at 1.2 gigahertz uh, what does that mean this is the exact same processor uh, processor of raspberry pi but since pfsense plus does not make it available to download for you so you cannot get that 
to build it on a Pi, and that's where Netgate comes in. They they made the PF Sense Plus exclusive for themselves to sell with an appliance, and that I don't mind that. Uh, what what I do mind, I'm going to tell you in a bit because they have to make money. They have to uh, put food on their table. But uh, here here is what I uh, decided. That was the final straw. Look at the CPU, exact same thing. Netgate 1100 versus 2100. We are comparing, uh, comparisoning the basic two models. Exact same processor, processor, exact same storage, 8 GB. Memory, you're just getting bumped up to 4 GB and you are just getting four ports, a switch, a $15 switch and uh, just mere three more GB of memory. Look at the price difference. It goes up to 349. That was when I decided no. If I'm gonna sell out 349, I'm getting the exact same processor as a Raspberry Pi and I'm getting the same uh, 8 GB as a base model, just a little bit more memory, just to add a 4 GB switch. Uh, I'm not gonna pay 349. So that's when I went ahead. And that is the reason I bought the mini PC. Now, how much the total cost of mini PC? If I look, if I show you the mini PC, this is the one I got. Uh, now, keep in mind, this one is uh, this processor, Celeron N5105. It's better than a Raspberry Pi A53. Uh, you can easily install Ubuntu on it and play with it, no problems. Uh, on 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 my testing on Raspberry Pi 4 that I bought for my son, uh, it it was uh, stalling all the time. Even my son did not like it, and he said, hey, I cannot work with it. So it's it's somewhere uh, collecting dust. Now it's $106 uh, plus. I got a 500 GB compared to 8 GB of NetGate. You can see 8 GB storage. I got a 500 GB for $31 and I got a RAM about 30 bucks so 60 bucks there plus 106 I'm still less than I, I ended up spending still less than the base model that has only two LAN ports you can see three ports so one is uh, for the um, so it's not actually three, it's actually two usable. One is for your serial access. So that was the reason that I decided, hey, I'm gonna build my own. Uh, you, If you build your own, you can still get PFSense Plus, but what, uh, what you have to do is, you go ahead and install the Community Edition, and then you upgrade to uh, the uh, PFSense Plus. The, I think that, that that is the only way. But of course, if you uh, on a Raspberry Pi, you cannot install the Community Edition because it's a, uh, there's a processor support mismatch. Now, if I, am I happy with what I done? Absolutely. Will I do it again? A hundred times over. Yes. I would recommend everybody, anybody, uh, if you are technical, if he. And one more thing. Uh, look at this. This is only 4 GB, uh, 4 GB maximum on memory side, right? Uh, on my the, the unit I built, it has uh, 16 GB or 30 GB. I'm confused. Um, let, so let's say it's uh, 16. So the memory usage I saw on it is 33% of 16 GB. It's still more than 4 GB. 33% should come somewhere. 6 GB or 5 GB something like that so more than 5 so and I'm only only running snort so that's why I recommend not to buy um, if you if anybody who wants to run snort I will strongly suggest to get a build your own unit uh, so uh, the because you will be using so much memory and it won't be effective if there is not uh, enough memory available uh, Again, if anybody uh, has technical know-how, yes, do build your own. It's gonna be uh, 
uh, the best thing if you are uh, if you just want to protect you or your family uh, go ahead with the net gate uh, the final thing that I do want to mention uh, that should uh, push you to build your own is look at the um, uh, algorithm supported so with algorithm the faster processor uh, or the powerful processor is recommended for uh, if you want to do your if you want to protect yourself if uh, uh, encryption is uh, paramount to you uh, the work what you do now look at the, the I've seen uh, like in a third video where it was saying use the SHA-1 no don't don't use SHA-1 SHA-1 is uh, easily breakable and see the traffic supported uh, with that processor this traffic bump five six seven it probably is only because of memory but look at the pro uh, traffic bump gets here when where the processor changes with the a53 you are only 24 to 47 me megabits per second yes it is enough but look at the algorithm being used SHA-1 now here it's a uh, different GCM GCM versus CBC now the processor uh, is very important when it comes to encryption uh, you need a and you need to use at least SHA-56 uh, so 256 actually my bad go with that and that will require a uh, a powerful processor not a 53 um, you can see here it's Atom. Now Atom is a slower processor than the uh, Celeron N5100 and if I can show you look at how much they are cost uh, they are charging for Atom, Intel Atom. 800 bucks, 600 bucks and the only difference other than the processor is probably I saw somewhere like a, um, a fiber connection that that's the only uh, other thing that's being upgraded and what you're gonna shell out 600 bucks all right so if, if somebody's using fiber they probably should uh, build their own all right so this is the reason I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.